look so weird sideways. My head looks very long. <laughs> Hi guys. Head. Oh, sorry. Hello. Hello everyone. Hi. Hello. <laughs> is this crooked? I can't tell because my head's crooked. So if this is crooked, I apologize. I wait. Don't. I want my pumpkin in it. You will look at my pumpkin. Hello everybody. My name is Tori. Excuse just me right now. I look uh I look I'm looking rough. <laughs> that was like a trash intro. Welcome to my channel. It doesn't get any better from here. Welcome back to my channel. Unless you're new, then welcome to the show that's my channel. <laughs> so I'm gonna be real with you. Today we are going to do a spa day type video because right before this quarantine started happening. I made an appointment to go and get like my lashes done. I was gonna make an appointment to go get my hair done. Overall, just treat myself for like a day. And then legit, the day after I made all of these appointments, the quarantine happened and then Las Vegas shut down. So today, I'm just gonna give myself a spa day. I have been waiting to do this for not, e not even joking, like a week now. I need to take off my nails because they keep breaking off and they hurt. That's it, they just hurt me right now. This one almost came off completely the other day and that was painful. I've never experienced something so small be so painful in my life. I don't know if you've noticed by now, but I'm in a different room. Me and Robbie recently moved out into our own house. Let me also start off by saying that I'm not professional at any of the things I'm going to be doing in this video. I've watched maybe one video of how to take off acrylic nails and it says that you just put nail polish remover on little pads you put them on your nails and then you let it sit for a little bit and then you're good to take them off So we're gonna be trying that and just hoping that it works and it doesn't injure me further Um, I got this kit off of Amazon. I will leave a link below if you need it If not, you are good But what you will need is these little finger thingies to hold it and then also these little like pads to soak up the uh, nail polish remover and also a nail polish remover I think you're supposed to use like acetone if you could find like legit acetone that's like the best but nail polish remover works fine and then you need like a little scrapey tool to take off the nail which looks disgusting and I can't wait to actually do it let's start this so today I'm going to be taking off my acrylics washing my hair I was originally going to repaint my nails but this nails like very sad right now, so I might give my nails a little bit of a break before I paint them. The first step is you're going to buff out all of your nails. That way the nail polish remover can kind of soak into them a lot easier. You wanna do this until it looks like that and it looks all scratchy and gross. The next thing you're gonna do is open this bad boy, which doesn't have an opener. I'm gonna miss being able to do that of just like digging it in with my nail. Oh my god, they give you so many! And then let this go on your finger like that. It's very, very simple. You're going to take your nail polish remover. How does this even work? Empty it over. A little squeezy squeeze. I just. Oh no! I got it everywhere, but. <laughs> on the actual paper. I might just not use that because that doesn't seem to work very well. So we're just gonna do all of them. Oh God! And then you wrap your nail. Oh no, how do I do the other hand? <laughs> I should have probably asked Robbie to help me with this. So once you have all of the nail polish remover on your nails, you're gonna go ahead and leave it on for I believe 20 to 30 minutes. I'm gonna try 20 and then see how it works and then try 30 and we'll we'll see how these work when I get back. Okay, I'll see you soon. A little longer than a few minutes later. Hello again. Okay, so I am back. I have waited for 20 minutes, so I'm gonna look at them and see if I could take one off. Okay, that appears to have done nothing. My nails are still definitely on. Oh, did you hear that? That was my hip. So I, I've managed to take one nail off so far. This method didn't really seem to work all that well. Like I managed to get one nail off, but the rest of them are still pretty stuck on. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and grab some tin foil because that is a suggestion that I did receive to take these off, so I'll be right back. Thank you. 
I'm gonna go ahead and leave this tin foil contraption on my hands for like 10 to 15 minutes. Take one off, see if it's working, leave it on for another 10 minutes. I hope this one works, otherwise I don't know how I'm gonna get these bad boys off. Eventually. Okay, I am back for the second time. I hope this one actually worked. Oh, it definitely looked like this one worked. Oh Do you see that? I could just like take off the nail polish. Oh, my hands feel so gross right now though. That was pretty good. Oh my, I took them off. Oh. I can touch my fingertips again, this is so nice. So now I'm going to go ahead and clean up everything because there are like nail chunks and like fake nails and my real nails like everywhere. And then I'm going to go ahead and dye my hair next. I'm actually going to wash it because you should always wash your hair before dyeing it anyways, just because you will build up natural oils on your scalp. And then those natural oils may kind of protect your hair from the hair dye, if that makes sense. My hair is normally like this dark brown color at the top, but I've been dyeing it black for the last couple of months. So I'm actually going to be retouching it. So that means I need to wash this mop on my head because that is what it is. It's not my hair. It's, it's straight up a mop. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in the shower and I will be right back once my hair is all dry. For this step, I'm going to be using just shampoo. That way I don't put conditioner in my hair and then dye my hair right afterwards. Many hours later. I was going to say I'm freshly out of the shower, but that is very much a lie. I got out of the shower like three hours ago. I have my trusty boyfriend here. I'm a trusty boyfriend what? and I'm here. Hey, Can't I want to rub my hair together. My Come back. Head. No. I just finished dyeing Robbie's hair orange and uh, now we're going to go ahead and dye my hair yellow. We're going to use Arctic Foxes, Transylvania for my head, and then we used a bunch of blue dyes on his head. you're washing out your hair and if anything does stain, I would suggest to use this. You just spray it on everything, wait a little bit, rub it off, rinse it off, continue on until it is gone. It is the next day. I already did my makeup and I like, got ready for the day. I didn't end up recording it just because all I did was straighten my hair and do my makeup and I feel like that is a very easy thing to do so I just didn't see a point of recording it. I have makeup tutorials on my channel that you could just go watch and it's pretty much the same but with different eyeshadows. I also decided to wear this black and orange stripe the the the. I also decided to wear this black and orange striped sweater as well as this little orange like hair clip. What is it called? Hair tie? Hairband? Headband? Headband. I also decided to wear this little orange headband because I thought it would look cute with this jacket. I know it is summer now and it is almost 100 degrees outside in Vegas, but if you don't go outside, then you could just wear sweaters all day like I do. Also, if you see that like my neck is a different color than my face, that's because of this blue dye. It makes my skin look very, very, very pale and like blue toned. I hope you guys liked this little spa chill out video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I'll, I definitely feel more like a person now and less like a little 
goblin girl. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there, as well as check out some of my other videos. I hope you guys are all staying safe and also staying inside. Guys, make sure you guys stay just stay inside. But I will see y'all later. Bye!